dear colleagues, thank you for the invitation and the opportunity to talk about a multidisciplinary team. Actually, this is the novelty which is just emerging in this country. I will talk that multidisciplinary team, MDT, it's not an ONCA commission. The main message is not an oncological commission. And MDT existed since 1995. Tumor board and MDT are the same. We'll talk about that. Tumor board helps to join specialists to improve quality of life of our patients. MDT also helps to cooperate to be on the edge of recent novelties in oncology. It uh, ensures collegial work. What is Tumor Board? Tumor Board is just MDT, which brings together specialists of healthcare, oncological consilums and com compass surgery, radiologists, oncotherapists. Usually, onco commission has a formal nature and doesn't influence the uh, tactics of treatment. We discussed the, the point that we have to hospitalize the patient. Here is the end of discussion. And if there are discussions, they seem to be quite formal. Tumor board or MTT has to gather at least on a weekly basis. Uh, so, and there is MDT devoted to lung cancer, oncology, and so on. Our institute has operating MDTs, but uh, there have to be more of them. Charity Clinic has around 40 different MDTs. Charity Clinic has them devoted to gynecology, breast cancer, urology but also devoted to first phase clinical trials, molecular genetic differences. <clears throat> but it, let us talk about basic things. Moscow and St. Petersburg have MDTs. Maybe Kazan city has as well, but at least there are no MDTs in small regions, and this is a great gap in our work. Of course, it's not onco commission. It's a routine practice of leading oncological institutions of Europe and the USA. In 1995, MDT originated in England. Before that, there had been no single approach in treating patient. Very often, our tactics of treatment is based on our personal relations we call radiologists or a surgeon, but we don't get together in one and the same place and time to discuss further tactics of treatment. It's a call to call, rather, when we call each other and make a conclusion. A patient has been consulted by this specialist or that, but as to MDT protocol, which is vital in our practice, uh, so there are hardly any cases. Before 1995, England had had no NDT. So that's why there was low adherence to treatment, low survival rates. In 1995, Kevin Hine first organized human uh, board. The doctor analyzed the work of different centers in England arrived at conclusion that treatment is unsatisfactory because doctors do not get together and don't discuss situations with patients. There are recommendations of National Institute of Oncology who has to be part of MDT. This is uh, surgeon oncologists, chemotherapists, pathologists, radiologists. Uh, the role of pathologists is essential in MDT, very often doctors do not call a pathologist to specify what sort of expression of a strange marker. Uh, maybe it could influence prognosis and treatment, but quite often doctors neglect it. 
So there has to be radiology, palliative doctor, and coordinator. Coordinator, usually a residence uh, doctor, and uh, of course, uh, he, uh, this is also an educational process for the residence doctor. A nurse can be a coordinator as well. So a medical nurse is very, uh, and her role is very important in, um, in tumor board. Usually once a week, a coordinator prepares special slides and information about patient Doctors get together and discuss patients in different nosologies, exclusively based on the nos certain nosologies. Functions, we discuss each patient, that is, every changes in the tactics of treatment. It's important to discuss all changes in the tactics. It could be a progression or restaging. We have some new information. Maybe molecular genetic testing has been made. Maybe we found some mutations. And anything has to be discussed. Any changes in the tactics of treatment have to be discussed at MDT. It's only communication of specialists. It's successive nature. We discuss the situations together, and it's a great resource for data collection. We have young doctors who write doctoral thesis. We all need articles. When MDT gathers, coordinator fills out all information about patient. He's in charge of database. He counts the number of MDT sessions within a year and uh, issues of publications such as the influence of MDT sessions on uh, survival rate in lung cancer. It's an opportunity uh, f f to educate residents, doctors. Uh, we all learn from each other as well. MDT in digits. Now around 1,200 multidisciplinary teams have been registered in England. As far as I know, in Russia it's almost zero. They are not registered. Uh, these are rather case-to-case -case sessions. Uh, there are <clears throat> sessions in big oncological centers, but of course we don't have such numbers. 55,000 meetings per year, it's a uh, you know, tremendous figure, and 106,000 hours of discussions. Let's look at the case, starting from your logic MDT. We included patients with different urological, oncological diseases, renal cancer, bladder cancer, and we found out so we randomized patients into arms, those who were not discussed on MDT and those who were discussed on MDT. Either doctor made independent decision while well, calling a radiologist, for example. Uh, so only 35% of patients, there were no changes in the tactics of uh, and uh, diagnosis. So 75% went through changes. Um, uh, uh, big figures are there that was restaging or uh, treatment with neoadjuvant chemotherapy or neoadjuvant chemotherapy was administered later. That's why uh, relapse-free and total survival rates improved. Changes in the tactics of uh, um, uh, cancers of uh, uh, bladder, uh, renal cancer, breast cancer are shown in figures here. So 245 uh, patients uh, with uh, non-operable um, conditions were included. 20. So then they received chemotherapy and values of relapse-free and survival rates in improved. This is colorectal MDT. Neoadjuvant therapy was administered later. And uh, you know the trials patient 
who are indicated near advanced therapy uh, know that it influences overall survival and relapse-free survival. So it implies saving time and uh, uh, different and our assets. How much? Do our patients spend to come to National Center, go through treatment, uh, some consultations are for free, and some of them uh, are not for free. So sometimes this is both uh, the state which spends resources, but our patients as well. SMDT devoted to melanoma, we analyzed 200 uh, uh, patients. Uh, $1,600 were saved for each patient, patient who was discussed on MDT. Of course, we could have different figures, but cost effectiveness is evident. The data of interviews of European and the US doctors show that uh, so uh, doctors believe that MDT improves the quality of oncological uh, treatment. 73% of doctors say that it's economically feasible. Thank you for your attention. I hope that after you come back to your oncological centers and discuss the opportunity of at least first MDT uh, so we could start discuss the most complicated cases. If you take Charity Clinic, we shared experience with our colleagues. They were saying that they started discussing only complicated cases, and then they started discuss almost every case. Uh, well, changes in the tactics or administering certain therapies. We can start with minor things and then move forward. And we have to go together if we want to go faster. So we have to work together. Thank you. Just one comment, if you allow me. There is some advantage of our foreign colleagues. They don't have degree number uh, 1916. It allows them to uh, feel more comfortable when they gather together. Besides, legal framework uh, has to be improved. Uh, by the way, um, I looked at our well decree, and MDT uh, could be called subcommission. Yes, there is a commission for hospitalization, and according to the law, we can create subcommission within our institutions, and at our discretion, uh, there will be as many specialists as we want. And uh, we can involve radiologists, pathology anatomists, a medical nurse. Everything is in our hands. I compare the decrees written by National Institute of Oncology and our decree devoted to the work of Oncological Committee. So we fit into the notion of subcommission. Yes, we have to get integrated. That's why it's for the first time that European and American Society of Oncological Nurses have come to us. First time, and uh, this is great victory. Susan Newton is with us, and Professor Daniel Kelly from Royal Master Cancer Center. And they will tell us about the role of medical nurse in the work of multidisciplinary.